Denmark, officially the Kingdom of Denmark, is a Nordic country in Northwest Europe. Denmark proper, which is the southernmost of the Scandinavian countries, consists of a peninsula, Jutland, and an archipelago of 443 named islands. Overall, Denmark is well known for its outstanding scenery as well as its beautiful people. In the previous episode, Leroy talked about 10 surprising facts about Denmark, and you guys seem to really enjoy it. So in this video, I'll be talking about 10 more surprising facts about Denmark. What up, FTD Facts family? I hope you're doing really well. It's your girl, Rowan Hadafa, and I'm back with another one of your favorite episodes. Before I get started with this video, though, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up, and make sure to smash that subscribe button, ring that bell, so you can always be notified of all our videos. All right, so first up on the list is Denmark's climate. The climate in Denmark is actually quite unusual. The temperature does not exceed 50 to 70 degrees Fahrenheit, 10 to 20 degrees Celsius a year. The country is small and flat, so there is little climatic differences between the areas. However, the western coasts of the Jutland Peninsula are milder, windier, and rainier in comparison to the rest of the country. On top of this, it rains most of the time, even though it may not always be so heavy. The Danish even joke about this, saying that there's not really any difference between the summer and winter. The only difference really is that the rain is a little warmer in the summer. So Denmark is also famous for being home to a couple of islands. In fact, Denmark has 444 islands, but only 76 of them are inhabited. Different lists of Danish islands vary depending on how the word island is defined. According to the official Danish government definition, an island needs to be surrounded by waters at least one half meter thick and also have land vegetation growing so the vegetation won't starve. The number of islands in Denmark changes from time to time and new islands are occasionally formed by sedimentation. Several examples of these new islands are found in the waters around Abelo north of Finun including Drelintone which formed in the late 1990s. Don't know if that's pronounced correctly. And a still unnamed island that was registered in 2008. Other examples of Danish islands that are known to be a lot larger include the islands of Zealand, Northern Jutlandic Island, Dunian, and Lawland Island. And fact number eight is the fact that there is no specific word in Danish that literally translates the word please. Instead, Danes use phrases and gestures to be polite, such as Vajur sa vinig, which means be so kind, and Hevius do feel, absolutely not pronouncing that right, which means if you would be so sweet. So don't think that Danes are people that are rude just because they don't know how to say please. They just don't have a word for it in their sentences. Nonetheless, there's a lot of thanking that goes on in Denmark. It's considered polite to say thank you for everything from your dinner, both before, during, and after a social get together. Another surprising fact about Denmark is that it is home to the invention of the world famous Lego brick. Lego came into the world around 1930 when a Danish carpenter from Belund in Jutland fell on hard times building houses. He supplemented his trade making wooden toys and was so successful that he was soon only making his wooden building blocks. Carpenter Oli Kirk Christensen was a visionary man and he was soon importing technology to produce injection molded plastics, revolutionizing manufacturing and setting the course of Lego for the next century. He called the company Lego, which is actually a mix of the Danish words to play and good. It was the perfect name for a perfectly simple toy. Next up on the list has to do with transportation in Denmark. More than 50% of Copenhagers cycle to and from work every day. Actually, Copenhagers cycle an average of 3 kilometers every day, and this adds up to people cycling 35 times around the world every day in Copenhagen. Something that's amazing about living in Copenhagen is how bicycles are one of the main modes of transportation. And so actually this whole, whole lane right here, that's the bicycle lane or scooter lane. And then over here you have the, the sidewalk. I believe that the figure is about 60 or 65% of the population in Copenhagen rides a bicycle on a daily basis to get from place to place. Can you guys even imagine that? Like who even needs Ubers or subways? Part of the reason for the fact that there are more bikes than people in this country is that the country is relatively flat. The highest point in the country is a mere hill of 170 meters called Mollyhush. Another reason is that new cars are heavily taxed to discourage them. The investment 
investment in infrastructure has made cycling safe and easy for both recreation and transportation. Next up on the list is the fact that Denmark is known to be a quite progressive nation, thankfully. In fact, it is actually known to be among the nations that are leading the world in progressive policy. The Danes have a healthy liberal attitude towards sexuality. In fact, they were also the first nation in the world to legalize same-sex unions. This came in 1989 and since then other countries have followed suit. Opinion polls in Denmark show support among the public is at 86%. At fact number 4 is an area that might be considered odd to most people, which is the naming of children. The government of Denmark actually keeps a list of 7,000 names that are pre-approved for babies' names. So you'll never really meet a Danish Chardoni or a Danish Gaga. Fact number 3, Denmark is known to be a very popular country for tourists as it is home to a lot of attractions ranging from exhibition spaces to museums to stunning landscapes and even amusement parks. Voli Gardens, for example, is one of the most visited attractions in Copenhagen, and not without reason. With the breathtaking rides and relaxing gardens, this amusement park provides one of the top destinations for a family. Kronberg Castle, also known as Elsinore Castle, also offers one of the most remarkable attractions in Denmark and one of the most significant Renaissance castles in Northern Europe. Some say that Kronberg was William Shakespeare's main inspiration for the world famous drama Hamlet. Other great tourist attractions include the Maritime Museum, the Frederiksborg Castle, the Funin Village, the Park of Music, and many, many more. Fact number two has to do with the Danish Huga. Enjoying the simple things in life is so important to the Danes that they have a special word for it, the huga. It is spelled as H-Y-G-G-E, but it is pronounced huga. And the word defies direct translation. Instead, it's a feeling of contentment that you get from enjoying simple pleasures. In a way, it's the opposite of stress. Instead of worrying about terrible weather, simply make a cup of coca and curl up with a good book. Ignore the stresses of work and spend quality time with friends and family. These are all examples of huga, and it's a concept I think we should all be embracing, not just in Denmark. The last but definitely not least fact about Denmark has to do with the level of happiness found in this country. When international surveys ask citizens around the world how happy they are with their daily lives and personal circumstances, Denmark always comes in among the top three happiest countries in the world. But what makes the Danes so happy? Is it the tuition-free access to high-quality education? Or the no-fee public health care? Is it the relative lack of crime and corruption or just plain Danish huga? According to the World Happiness Report, happiness is closely linked to social equality and community spirit, and Denmark seems to do very well in both. Denmark actually has a high level of equality and a strong sense of common responsibility for social welfare. And even though there are nine major political parties in Denmark, none of them seriously supports dismantling the Danish welfare state. All right guys, so as you can see, the country has a very great and interesting history that is important to the formation of Europe as we know it today. Denmark is a place where the people continue to strive for a high quality of life and they have a lot to be proud of. So now that you've heard me talk a whole lot, We've decided to include a segment in some of our videos to respond to your comments. So make sure to always leave a comment down below and keep watching this video to see if your comment got posted. So for this episode, I decided to respond to your comments on the first part of the segment that Leroy actually did. DJ commented and said, First thought, outstanding pastries, was impressed by the people when I visited the country many years ago. People were good looking and low key. Your vids are excellent. Thank you so much for your comment and I'm glad you had a fun time in Denmark. It actually makes me even more so motivated to visit the country. Oh, and thank you for that cute compliment on our videos. Laura Clausen, you commented and said, The first thing I think of when I hear Denmark is rain. Because it rains a lot here in Denmark. Honestly, that makes a lot of sense now because when I was doing research on the country, I did see that a lot of people talked about how much it rains. And hey, honestly, like, rain, no rain, I still really want to visit the country, but maybe I'll make sure to bring extra umbrellas for this visit. The last commenter of the day, your name, Bog Scob, love that name, you commented and said, I'm an Asian, a Filipino, and I don't know what made me so interested in this country that if I'll be given a chance to visit or migrate, Denmark always comes first in mind. I love everything about this country. I mean, hey, honestly, if you're gonna migrate, take me with you because I'm so intrigued by this country myself. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. I had a lot of fun filming it for you. Before you leave the video, make sure to check out my Instagram and YouTube channel down below to see what I'm up to. Oh, and wait, I'm going to leave you with another video that you have to check out. 
Trust me. I look forward to seeing you guys in our next episode. Bye!